Hello and welcome back. So in this video, we are going to create an AWS EC2 security group using Terraform and attach it to our instance. So in the previous video, we have created an AWS instance and it was an Amazon Linux AMI, which was T2 micro. We created it using Terraform. So if you can see in the console, we have a Terraform EC2, which is T2 micro, and we have not attached any security group to it. So if you don't attach any security group to an instance in Terraform, the default is going to be attached. So if you don't want any default or if you want our own security group with our rules, we can create it using Terraform as well. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create a security group using Terraform. So for this, we are going to use uh, this documentation by Terraform that is resource AWS security group. You can find this link in the description as well. So let's get started. I'm going to copy this snippet here for reference from right from till the end till tags and paste it here in my code I have it here let me just make some changes for ourselves and to get reference we are going to go to the security group section and if you see I have only one default uh, security group no other security group create in uh, security group here there are some parameters that I have to fill and it's the same as in here so let's change here the resources AWS security group and we will give the name as TF underscore SG and the name should be security group using Terraform. Security group using Terraform. Description is going to be the same, security group using Terraform. Right, so we need a VPC ID for security group because uh, security groups are VPC bounded. You cannot use security group in one VPC uh, to another VPC, right? So you should have VPC ID and you can see the same here in as well. So you need VPC ID to create a security group. And if you want the security group, we can go to the instance that is created and you can scroll down here, you get the VPC ID. This is a default VPC ID. If you have VPC created in the Terraform, you can insert it like this, but we are not creating any VPC in the Terraform. So we're going to insert it insert the id here in the exclamation mark to make it a string so now if you see here after vpc we have inbound rules and outbound rules so similarly it is ingress and egress so in this security group i'm going to create three rules the first is going to be 443 that is https second is going to be 80 that is http and the third is going to be ssh port 22 to connect to our instance so i'm going to copy this ingress three times but first let me make some changes i'm going to name is that https right so 443 is the port number for https so from port 443 to port 443 the protocol is tcp and cider blocks so if you want to insert any specific cider block you can have that as well but we don't need it we are going to create this uh, cider block that is for everyone so i'm going to copy this cider block for ipv4 and ipv6 so like this I'm going to paste it here. So this means we are going to access 443 from anywhere from any IP, right? And I'm going to copy it three times just to have three inbound rules. So one, two, and three. You should see about this indentation because if I do this, if you miss the indentation, Terraform is going to show an error. So this is going to be HTTP, that is port 80, from port 80 to port 80, protocol TCP, cider block from anywhere, IPv6 from anywhere. And this is going to be SSH. So the port number for SSH is 22, 22. So from port 22 to port 22 protocol TCP from anywhere, right? And the outbound rule is going to be from port zero to port zero protocol minus one. This means all traffic. And we are going to change the tags. The tag is going to be the same as name. I'm going to make the tag as TF5 underscore SG. All right, so we have our security group. Let's run Terraform plan to see what Terraform is going to create according to the configuration. So if I run Terraform plan, I have already AWS instance in the console. So it should show one resource that is AWS security group to be added in the console. So let's wait. And as you can see, one is to be added. And if I scroll this, if I make it bigger, you can see that it is security group is going to be added, which has port 22, port 443 and port 80. Right, so this plus sign means it is going to be added. So let's Terraform apply to actually have it in our console. I'm going to use Terraform apply auto approve. And if you see here, I don't have any security group except this. So now in some seconds, when this is done, you can see a security group in our security group console. 
So if I create a security group, does this mean that it would be automatically attached to this instance? No. So now it is created and if I refresh this, you can see a security group TFSG which has inbound rule and outbound rule HTTP, HTTPS for IPv4, IPv6 so it is twice so we have three inbound rules and, and one outbound rule that is all traffic from anywhere for IPv4 and IPv6 AWS security group is created now if I check my instance the security group is still default because we have not made any changes here we should add a parameter that should tell that we have to attach this security group to this instance we have to enter a parameter that is security underscore groups and it should be groups not group because you can attach multiple security group to a single instance right so I'm going to type the name of this security group so you have to enter the name and you can enter the name by copying this here right and it is pasted here remove the and put a dot in that so aws security group dot tf dot sg dot name right so now we have told terraform that this instance should have security group that is this which is created here right if and if i now terraform apply i'm going to see a change here we should see that this security group is changed to the security group created here right so let's wait for terraform apply to be completed so you can see one is going to be added and one is going to be destroyed this tilde sign means it is going to be changed right so let's wait it is destroying our current instance and it's going to launch a new instance which has security group that is declared here right so this is how you create a security group and it's very simple so now we will have a security group that has port 22 and port 443 and 80 attached to this instance so let's wait for this to complete so if I go to the console now and if I refresh, I'll see a new instance going to be created and the first one is going to be terminated. So the instance that had default security group is now terminated and a new instance is created. So this instance will have a security group that is security group using Terraform. So if you see it has completed and we have a security group which has inbound and outbound rule that is declared in the Terraform code. So the inbound rule is HTTP, HTTPS and SSH and the outbound rule is for all traffic from anywhere that is from IPv6 and IPv4 so all traffic right so this is how you declare your security groups so this way you create and attach a security group to an instance using Terraform and I hope you got the video if you understood this video please like this video subscribe to this channel so to test this out let's just uh, go to the instance and try to SSH it so in AWS, there's a new feature where you can connect to the instance without key pair in the console, but you cannot do it in your terminal. So I cannot do it in my terminal here. I cannot SSH because I don't have a key pair attached to this. We don't have any key pair here. So let's just try it here to see if port 22 actually works or not. So it should open. Yeah, we are here and it has port 22 open. So we have, we are inside the console and port 22 works fine. If I comment it out and try again, so you can see this this is going to be deleted the port 22 inbound rule is going to be deleted this port is going to be deleted if after this so yeah one is to be changed and we cannot ssh into instance and after this if i up refresh this the port 22 has been deleted so this should be gone as well so if i refresh i'll see that the page is not loading it's not loading and it will show an error so it shows the error that the problem connecting to our instance so this is how security group works in the next video we are going to see how we can create a key pair for this instance if i show you there's no key pair attached to this instance so if i scroll down if you can see here there is no key pair attached and sometimes we need key pair to connect to the instance using terminal so in the next video we are going to create a key pair and attach it to our instance so please subscribe to this channel and like this video have a good day